in January of uh, 2022, I went to um, my daughter's elementary school to deal with a very sensitive incident. My daughter attempted suicide by hanging in one of the school bathrooms. My wife and I were told that, uh, by the school counselor that it happened because of an ongoing issue with her gender identity. We were in shock because our daughter never showed any signs of questioning her biological sex. Um, we were told that they knew about the gender issue due to meetings they were having with our daughter behind our backs. We learned that during these meetings, our, daughter, uh, our daughter's confusion was affirmed and validated through the use of fictitious male names and male pronouns. Our daughter uh, was living a double life without our consent or knowledge. As a family, we had to pick up the pieces, uh, clean up the mess, and start a period of painful healing. However, we decided as parents from the beginning that we were not going to affirm the, the, the dysphoria. Uh, we were not uh, going to validate the, a delusion contrary to uh, the recommendation from some professionals in the field. We provided, um, actually we did provide it, uh, unconditional support. Underlying disorders like depression and anxiety were properly treated. She is steadfast and sure of her gender and the suicidal ideation is gone. Our daughter was suicidal when she was being affirmed. However, when she was brought back from that state of confusion, the suicidal ideation disappeared completely. If you validate one delusion, then what is next? 